Understanding the May Day Parade, a guide to English phrases. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English phrases. In this video, we'll explore the meaning and history of the term May Day Parade. Whether you're an English language learner or just curious about English phrases, this video will provide you with valuable insights. So, let's get started. The phrase, May Day Parade, refers to a public procession or celebration that takes place on May 1st, commonly known as May Day. This day is traditionally celebrated in many countries around the world, often with dancing, singing, and festivity. The parades are typically colorful and lively, and they represent various aspects of local culture, history, and sometimes political or labor movements. May Day has its origins in ancient agricultural rituals, and it's also linked to the Celtic festival of Beltane and the Germanic festival of Walpurgis Night. Over time, May Day became associated with workers' rights and labor movements, especially after being designated as International Workers' Day in the late 19th century. Thus, many May Day parades have a dual nature, celebrating both the onset of spring and advocating for workers' rights. Different countries have their own unique ways of celebrating May Day. For example, in the UK, it might include Morris dancing and crowning a May Queen, while in Russia, there are often large-scale military and labor parades. Understanding these differences is crucial for appreciating the global diversity in the celebration of May Day. The phrase, May Day Parade, is not just about a public celebration, it's also a reflection of cultural and historical values. Learning about such phrases helps English language learners to not only understand the language better but also gain insights into the cultural nuances and history associated with it. I hope this video has been informative and enjoyable, helping you understand the phrase, May Day Parade, and its significance in different cultures. Remember, learning a language is also about understanding the culture and history it reflects. Until next time, keep exploring and enjoy learning English.